the third year when Mr. Frost joined us and we began to be close friends with Dick and Alice Frost, we began to hear about a trip that they and some friends had been making down to Port Penasca, Rocky Point, Mexico during the spring vacation. But oh boy, we were, our ears perked right up. Gee, that sounded neat. It's still darn cold in the mountains at Easter time, and that's usually when the spring break was, and it was a full week break. Well, they said, you know, you should go. You should come, too. Well, you know, we'd never even taken a real vacation. And the thought of taking a week's trip. Boy, the more you listen, the more you got to thinking and looking at each other and saying, could we? And they kept saying, it's not expensive. For health reasons, you take everything with you that you're going to eat or drink. And your real expense is the gasoline going and coming. Borrow a tent if you don't have a tent. Because they said they all tented. And we said we don't have a tent. So to make a long story short, we bought a cheap tent from, I think, Sears and Roebuck. By golly, we practiced as a family putting that tent up, unfolding it, stretching it out, seeing where you put the pegs in, reading the instructions about the angle that the pegs were to go in, all that good stuff. Boy, we were ready to go. Got an ice chest, had it packed with food, frozen, you know, so that it was its own refrigeration. And I don't know, we, we just did the kind of things that we were told would work and made the trip. I can't remember if the very first year we did or not, but, uh, oh yeah, we ended up going that every year, the third year, the fourth year, the fifth year, and the sixth year. <laughs> but that first one was special. We'd never done anything like that. Uh, I can't remember if we did it every year or not, but at least part of the time we would go down and sleep over on the ground in the uh, Oregon Pipe uh, National Park and then go on in so that we'd be sure to be in the daylight to get set up and so on. But we always had such a good time. The water would be not warm, but not really cold, and the sun warm, the beach warm, and oh gee, the starfish, we've never really seen starfish. The crabs, the snails, the birds, and we even saw a manta ray swim right up in close, and there was kind of a shelf there that made a natural almost swimming area that when the, when the uh, tide was out, it was really safe for our, even the littler kids could get in, although, you know, you kept an eye on them and all that. So, you know, it was just plain old fun and an exciting thing because it was completely new to us. Well, you know, we kept going back and one of the years we were inundated by college kids. There were always a few college kids, but that year, I don't know, something about the timing or some college in the area had picked it as the place to go that year. I don't know. But, uh, we, you know, we'd gotten in the day before, we're set up, and the you know, beach was very nice, no problem, lots of space. Spaced our tents out, but, you know, kind of where we thought that was close enough. My gosh, these kids came in, and I mean, they unloaded case after case of beer. And, uh, you know, somebody said, you know, it's a contest. Get drunk first or get laid first. They were wild, wild, wild. Of course they weren't all. But the ones that made themselves obnoxious and so visible were not very nice. And worse yet, some of them unloaded those um, four-wheel vehicles, and they'd crank them up and run down that beach full throttle. And here we had little kids. So, you know, we had to pull our kids in and quit having a lot of the fun that we had had other years because it was too dangerous to get somebody killed out there. Well, you know, we're not very happy, but everybody settles down. We're doing okay. We go to bed. And uh, as we were getting ready for bed, we realized, hey, there's some guys moving in between us and the Huckabees or whoever was next door to us in the next tent. They're squeezing in there. Hardly room. But I guess you can't do anything about it. It's, you know, a public beach. So we go on to sleep. I don't know how long we've been to sleep. 
and scared the liver out of uh, us adults. I suppose it did the older kids, too, that knew what was going on. All of a sudden, there was a whoosh, uh, flash of heat and light into that tent. I thought we were on fire. Oh, man, I was scared to death. Well, there's a lot of scurrying over there where they've dug a fire pit. They obviously had laid some fuel down in there and poured gasoline on it and then lit it. And, you know, they they realized they almost set tents on fire, but they didn't. And so things settled down, and the next morning they realized they weren't particularly welcome. I don't know. I think maybe one of them even said we're sorry, but they moved out, and we were glad to see them move out. It's the only time that we were there that we ever felt physical danger of any kind. We'd heard rumors about people that go down to beach and Mexicans that might take advantage of you. Those kids that are uh, federales that are carrying guns and so on. No problems like that. These were problems caused by rowdy American college kids. Had some other experiences, but I think it'd been out of time if I got into them at this time, so I may or may not get back to it. But believe me, Puerto Penasco is a beautiful place. There were times when we were down there that we went down to the dock and bought the uh, shrimp as the shrimp boats came in. Another time when the fishermen, fishermen that were down there camping like us, had their boats. Came in and you could buy fish, a lot of fish, for a very low price because they caught more they could possibly use. We really enjoyed Puerto Penasca, Rocky Point, Old Mexico.